China's first cross-sea high-speed railway was successfully completed in August 2022 and is expected to be officially put into use in 2023. By then, the cross-sea high-speed railway will reach a speed of 350 km per hour and be able to withstand typhoons of level 12. In this regard, foreign netizens questioned, thinking that it is impossible for China to build a high-speed rail at sea in such a short period of time. On the day when the bridge was closed, the BBC reporter went to the site and was amazed to find that the Chinese had indeed built the high-speed rail at sea. So how exactly did China build high-speed rail at sea? Fuzhou Shaman High-Speed Railway Chuanzhou Bay Bridge has been fully connected. China's high-speed rail has become a world-renowned business card. According to China's national railway data, by the end of 2022, the total mileage of China's high-speed rail has reached 40,000 kilometers, which is longer than the high-speed rail of other countries in the world combined. The construction of high-speed rail has enabled China to train a large number of high-speed rail technical talents who can conquer various, complex environments. With the successful completion of China's first high-speed rail cross-sea bridge, it marks that China's high-speed rail has entered the era of cross-sea driving. It is the Fuzhou Shaman High-Speed Railway Chuanzhou Bay Bridge, located in the coastal area of Fujian Province, from Fuzhou City in the north to Shaman City in the south, with a total length of 277.42 kilometers, a speed of 350 kilometers per hour, and a sea bridge length of 8.96 kilometers. Difficulties in the construction of cross-sea high-speed rail projects. The Fuzhou Shaman High-Speed Railway Chuanzhou Bay Bridge is the first high-speed railway cross-sea bridge in China and even in the world. It is also the most critical and difficult control project in the entire line of the Fuzhou Shaman High-Speed Railway. Restricted by the geographical location, the construction of the high-speed rail project on the sea is extremely complicated especially to allow the high-speed rail with a speed of 350 km per hour to pass through the rough sea smoothly, not only requires top-notch bridge-building technology and high-speed rail technology, but also a perfect combination of the two, and the Chinese have done it. These two technologies have also been perfectly reflected in the Fuzhou Shaman High-Speed Railway Chuanzhou Bay Bridge. The cross-sea high-speed rail adopts the highest specifications of China's high-speed rail. The design requirement is to withstand typhoons of level 12 and, like the land high-speed rail, the standard speed can reach 350 km per hour. But as the world's first cross-sea high-speed rail, how difficult is it to build in the absence of feasibility references? Although China currently has rich experience in the construction of high-speed rail and cross-sea bridges, it is not easy to successfully complete this project. Because the bridge is located in the high wind speed belt along the coast, the sea wind is violent and fast, and the fog is diffuse all the year round. Generally, buildings in this environment will be corroded and damaged soon. Therefore, how to solve the problem under the premise of lack of reference experience and ensure the engineering quality of the Fuzhou Shaman High-Speed Railway Chuanzhou Bay Bridge and complete the construction goal of being able to withstand a 12-level typhoon is major problem facing Chinese engineers. As the world's first high-speed rail cross-sea bridge with a design speed of 350 km per hour, the design team has almost no reference cases. To build this bridge, it is necessary to innovate in bridge design and technology. For the Chuanzhou Bay Bridge, the main construction difficulties are as follows. First, the wind conditions in the sea area where the bridge is located are complex and the train speed is high. 
The sea area where the Chuanzhou Bay High-Speed Railway Cross-Sea Bridge is located not only has a strong wind speed, but also has complex wind conditions. The number of days with wind force above level 6 is as high as 91 days per year. Under normal circumstances, strong wind will cause serious up and down amplitude and lateral shaking of the bridge, which will affect the smooth running of the train. The design standards for the Chuanzhou Bay High-Speed Rail Bridge are no speed limit for trains in strong winds of level 8, no need to close traffic in strong winds of level 11, and the bridge remains rock-solid in strong typhoons of level 12. In order to meet the design standards, the design team innovatively used the main girder of the streamlined box structure, and additional facilities such as vibration-reducing railings, deflectors, and cable eddy current dampers are installed to effectively avoid the eddy vibration of the bridge in complex wind conditions. After a series of wind tunnel tests, the team concluded that the bridge with this design can control the vortex-induced vibration generated in a strong typhoon of level 12 within an astonishing 5 mm. This vortex vibration value is enough to show that the Chuanzhou Bay Cross-Sea High-Speed Rail can still keep coins from falling over in a strong wind of level 8. Second, the sea area where the bridge is located is busy with shipping. The Chuanzhou Bay Bridge is located in a sea area with heavy shipping. In order to ensure the normal passage of ships under the bridge, the main span of the bridge must be enlarged. The main span of the Chuanzhou Bay Bridge has reached 400 meters. The chief engineer of the Fuzhou Shaman High Speed Railway said that building such a long span bridge is like splicing wood but the joints must be tightly connected during the splicing process. However, the environment faced by cross-sea construction is more complicated. For this reason, the design team developed a set of intelligent monitoring and control system for the bridge closure construction, which finally made the axis deviation of the bridge closure only 1 mm and the relative height difference is only 0.5 millimeters, which is such a high level. The advanced construction technology can't help but give people a thumbs up. Third, the bridge is in a high salt and high humidity corrosion environment. Because the sea crossing bridge is in a high salt and high humidity corrosion environment in the marine climate, the important structure of the bridge is easily corroded. The previous solution is to regularly remove rust and paint, but this method will be very cumbersome in the later stage and will affect the normal operation of the high-speed rail. In order to completely solve the corrosion problem, the design team used marine and atmospheric corrosion-resistant steel for the first time in China. A small amount of corrosion-resistant elements such as copper and nickel are added to this kind of steel, and new technologies and processes are used in the smelting process. After being put into use, it will not be corroded even if it is not painted. This technology is at the top level in the world. Construction significance of Chuanzhou Bay Cross-Sea Bridge of Fuzhou Shaman High-Speed Railway at present, the Fuzhou Shaman High Speed Railway Chuanzhou Bay Bridge has been successfully closed, and it is expected to be officially completed and open to traffic in 2023. After the completion and opening of the entire Fuzhou Shaman High Speed Railway to which the Chuanzhou Bay Bridge belongs, will become the first real high speed railway in Fujian Province. At that time, the journey from Fuzhou to Xiamen will be shortened from the original two hours to one hour. The construction of super projects like the Chuanzhou Bay Bridge will test the comprehensive industrial level of a country. And China's ability to build the world's top high-speed rail cross-sea bridge is enough to prove that China's comprehensive industrial level has reached a new height. It is worth mentioning that on the day when the cross-sea bridge was completed, 
British BBC journalists went to the scene and were completely impressed by China's construction skills. And they said that today's China is too strong, no matter what difficulties it faces, it can complete various super projects excellently. Some experts believed that the construction of this cross-sea high-speed railway bridge would once again promote China's development in cross-sea bridges and long-span high-speed railway projects. More importantly, China is expected to successfully build a cross-strait bridge on this basis in the future, so as to once again let the world know about China's infrastructure strength. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.